Okay, so let's try the next coding exercise. So open the leadcode.com and go to the problems tab. And in the search question, search question number 80, hit enter. So you will find this, this question like uh, remove duplicates from sorted array. And it's come under the medium category. So click on it. So let's read the question. So given an integer array nums. So we have some arrays given. So if you see uh, the function definition, uh, remove duplicate. So we like, but like uh, the user is going to pass the nums array. And it is a known decreasing order. It means whatever the values it is giving is the increasing order, ascending order. We need to remove some duplicates in place. So like, if you just read this question, remove duplicates from the sorted array, then you, you may say like, oh, just we need to remove the duplicates. It could be the easy category a question. Uh, but why they have mentioned the medium category? Because we need to like remove the duplicates in place, all right? Such that each, each unique element appear at most twice. The relative of the, uh, the relative order of the element should be kept the same. Since it is possible to change the length of the array in some language, you must instead, so you can ignore this. And uh, we need to return k after placing the first uh, result in the first case loads of numbers. So we need to return k. So we need to return some integer. So you could see we need to return some integer. I am going to explain what is that integer. Do not allocate extra space. So why like uh, this uh, question come into the medium category is because of this kind of constraints, right? So they mentioned do not use, uh, do not allocate extra space. You must do this by modifying this input array in place. And this line uh, give us the like, uh, you can say some uh, suggestion and uh, some clue how to, how to solve this question this line because it is mentioned you must do this by modifying the input array in place with o open extra memory okay so what the question is like has been said so we have some like uh, sorted arrays given fine we need to we need to like uh, remove the duplicates and in place such that each unique element must appear at most twice so one element can be appear at most twice so if you see one 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 so one is coming three times so we can remove the duplicate so if you remove the duplicate there should be only single one but they mention each unique element can appear uh, most twice so okay we can like uh, keep uh, uh, two times one and we can re uh, like remove the third one okay now we have the two two which is fine so we can keep the uh, both the twos now we have the three so we can keep the three but if you noticed, so if you like uh, keep one, so one is here. If you like uh, scroll, like uh, scan this array, then the second one, second one is here. Then the third one. So if you remove the third one, all right. So if, if you remove the third one, like uh, uh, this place is zero, all right. But they said like this two is coming at this position and then this two is coming at this position then this three is coming at like uh, earlier okay let's see the next uh, example so in this example zero zero one 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 two three three so uh let's scan all the elements so zero zero because there are two zeros so because the elements can come maximum twice so we can uh, place both the zeros so now the one comes four times so out of four times we can keep two times now the two so two is coming one time that is fine now the two threes so we can keep the two, two three so how many elements are there so one two three four five six seven so we can like uh, return the seven uh, like seven all right so similarly here how many elements are there one two three four five so after removing the duplicates how many elements will be there so five so we need to return the five all right so basically we need to return the index by starting like uh, consider the index is started from one okay so how you can going to solve this question? Okay, so let's go to the whiteboard. So if you consider like how we are going to solve the question, like they said we can't use the extra space. They said we need to like uh, remove the duplicates and we need to do the in place. So in place means like uh, uh, we need to 
a kind of a swap or we need to kind of like put the elements at the previous position right okay along with that they mention uh, like a uh, element can appear maximum twice so some logic uh will be like uh, in our code should be like that okay whether the element come twice or not or maybe uh by checking the element right okay so how we can do that so along with that like we we need to check all the elements from starting to end all right so we need to scan all the elements and how and and as they mentioned we need we can't use the extra space we need to like uh, do in place so if we need to scan all the elements definitely we need to run a loop from starting to end all right so that is that is fine we need to run a loop from starting to end so let's go to the like a pie charm uh, let's go to the pie charm so that is fine so we need to run a loop from starting to end all right because how you are going to scan all the elements so you need to run a loop from starting to end from num in nums okay so now the first element come first element come so basically how we are going to do what we are going to do we are going to put the correct element at its place all right so how we are going to put the correct element at its place so what we can do is because they said maximum two elements can be like uh, the un like unique element can be repeated maximum twice okay so we can start from the like uh, this index like uh, where the i is zero okay so for the i is zero we can keep the same element at this at this position for the i is equal to we can keep the same element at the same position because even though they are same we can keep that like uh, like as per the question we can keep the like the two elements the unique elements maximum twice so for the first two element doesn't matter whether they are same or whether they are different we can put those element at their own position so in this question what we are going to do is we can we are going to put the particular element at its correct position because we need to do the in place so how we are going to do with the in place so we need to put the elements at its correct position so for the first element so let's suppose you are going to scan the array right so you found the first element and we so so we know this is the first element so what we can do is so there is there is no previous element right so we can put this first element at its like at its place only now now we reach the second element for the second element we also put at its its place like its place only all right so for the first two elements we can like put uh, like uh, the element at its own place so let's write the logic so i is equal to 0 all right so what we can do is so if i is less than 2 if i is less than 2 then what we have to do so we have to nums of i all right so what we have to do is we have to put the element so we are scanning the we are scanning the array so as soon as we scan the array so first is zero so where we need to put the zero on the ith index all right so as soon as we put the zero on the ith index we are going to increase the i all right then then the second element is zero so we know this is the second element we are going to put at the ith index so for num me num so if i is less than two we are going to like put the same element as its place and then i is equal to i plus which is perfectly fine like I, like so if i is less than two so for zero we put uh zero at zero position then we increment the i now i is here now i is here so again we check whether i less than two yes i is less than two then we put again uh, the same element at the i position so we put zero at the like the first position okay so now till now our array is this only our array is this only okay and our i reaches this position our i reaches to this position because as soon as we are like uh, uh, putting the elements we are putting the elements at the correct position then we need to increment the i because in this question what i said is we need to scan all the elements 
along we need to we will put the correct element at its place because in the question it is mentioned we need to do in place so what we can do is okay as soon as we find the element let's put at correct place as soon as we find the element let's put it put at correct place that's it so for the first two element we put the element at the correct place now the i is equal to two now the i is equal to two so now we like it could be zero it could be zero further so it could be zero 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 so that's why like this condition no more we are going to check Right, so this condition is done. Now, what we can do is, so what we want actually, what we want, so we want some different element here, right? So at this position where I highlighted, so at this position, we want some different element because if it is zero zero zero, then like uh, we have to skip that element, and we have to scan uh, like uh, we can't, we will keep our i index here. Because we have to place the element at the ith index only, but we will we will like uh, run our loop for the next element because we are scanning the element. Because as soon as we find some element, let's suppose zero 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 is coming. As soon as we find some different element, then we are going to put. But how you are going to check whether this is the same element or whether this is a different element? So because we know we can put maximum two elements, unique element. So what you can do is. So you can check this element, this element, where this element should be greater than the i minus 2. That is the this element. So if one is greater than like uh, the last two elements, right, then it, it, it is at its correct position. So if this condition is not satisfied, we have to check or so this number whatever the number we are here so this number right so num is one so num should be greater than nums of i minus two right so if this element is greater than i minus two what is i minus two i minus two is zero if one is greater than zero it means it means the previous two elements are different like this this current element is different than the previous two elements that's it right so so it's a one so we we are we are at here so one all right so what we are going to check if that particular number is like because the condition as per the question is at most twice at most twice so what we are going to check so if this number we are at this number so if this number is greater than the i minus two yes it is greater then we are going to put this number because if this number is greater, it means that number is at its correct position, right? So if that number is at correct position, we are going to put that number at the particular i -th index. So if we are going to put at the particular index, then we are going to increment i. Okay, so we are going to increment i. Now we we found this one. So whether this one is greater than i minus two, so i minus two is like this one is there. Whether this one is greater than zero, yes. So if it, this one is greater than zero, we are going to put that one at the ith position so i is 3 and we are going to increment i so now i is 4 okay so now we are at here so whether this element whether this element is greater than i minus 2 so i minus 2 is this element so whether 1 is greater than 1 no so if 1 is not greater than 1 it means the previous two elements is the same but we can keep the maximum two elements so it means it means like uh, this element we uh, we are not going to put anywhere we are not going to put anywhere so i will remain same so i will remain same because we did not find that element which is going to be put at ith index so i is going to be same so as soon as we found this element this is not going inside this if condition and it is like uh, basically the past condition and it is scan the next element so now it scan the next element it come here so whether this one is greater than i minus 2, is it greater than this one? No, it is not greater than this one. So i is still same. i is still same. Because we did not find any, any such element which is like greater than the past two elements. Now we are at this position, 2. So whether this 2 is greater than like the previous two element, yes, it is greater than. Now we find the particular element which should be put here. So we are going to put this element at this position. So we put this element at this position. So as soon as we put this element, we are going to increment i is equal to i like i i, I is equal to i plus one. So now i is at this position. Okay. So our next element 
is 3 because we are running a loop. So 3. So whether 3 is greater than the previous two element. Yes, 3 is greater than the 1. Okay, we found the element uh, like uh, so it should be come at this position. So we put at this position. Right. So nums of i. And as soon as we put the position and we are going to increment i. So i is equal to 6. Now our array is at the last last like uh, four loop is at the last index. So whether 3 is greater than this 2. Whether this 3 is greater than this 2. Yes, 3 is greater than Then we found the element. Then we are going to put at here. Because we are doing the in place. In place. So now i is going to increment. So i is here. Because as soon as we put i is going to increment. i is equal to i is equal to 7. So i is 7. So if you see i is equal to 7. And our loop finish. Our loop finish. Because we are scanning all the element. I, our loop is finished. So we are going to return this element. i is equal to 7 i is equal to 7 so as soon as we return i is equal to 7 so here as soon as our, our function returns so we are going to return i all right so we are going to return so what it is going to print nums so it is like what it is going to print is so basically so it is like at the back end it is going to do like this so all the elements till 7 so that's why we are going to return uh, like a uh, 7 and it is going to print all these element before seven index all right so this is the answer we need so zero zero two times one because there are four ones so we need two ones one two because there is single two then two threes that's it and we are no we, we don't care about this these elements all right so if you would like uh, try to run this so our sample cases has been accepted so let's try to submit So our solution has been accepted and we would beat like 84% of the people. So like uh, this is not like very difficult question. So if you read the question, they said, okay, do not use extra space. So we, we are not going to, they said we have to do in place. So as soon as you read the word in place now, so and we and we have to scan all the elements, that is fine. So in place, we are not going to use any like uh, any space. So but we have to scan all the elements so if we scan all the elements we need to run one loop okay which is fine and it is in place so in place means let's whenever like generally what happen is like whenever in the question it is mentioned do in place do in place so most of the time the trick work is so let's try to put let's try to put the particular element at its correct position now what is there is correct position so because maximum like unique element come twice so we can check the previous second previous two element and the first two element we can keep as it is all right so you can also try this question or maybe like if you like uh, re-watch the video again then maybe like uh, you able to understand more or if you go through the like uh, sample code maybe you able to understand the more even though like i did here step by step so it will be easy for you to understand so you can also try this question. So thank you. That is the end of the video.